what is wrong with Samsung? So I did already a video where I was like warning you that Samsung is scamming you when the S20 or what was it, Note 20 came out with uh, plastic bags. I think it was the S20 FE. Um, and now the S21 comes out and uh, yeah granted it has like uh, the ultra version and the plus version they come with the specs that you might expect but then you can take a look at the s21 and you think hmm, 800 dollars or euros damn that's expensive and it comes with a plastic bag only But that's not the only issue. If you take a look at the specs inside, of course we get the Exynos chip. Apparently the Exynos 2100 is a little bit better than the last generation of Exynos chips. So they can keep up for now with the Snapdragon 888. But uh, when it comes to everything else, it's just simply dumped down. It's a downgrade. And not only for the S21, also the S21 Plus as well. So they have like a downgrade in terms of display. You don't get the, uh, what was it, 1440p uh, display, the high resolution display. You only get a 1080p display. Granted, you have now 120 hertz um, as default, but the S20 also had 1080p with 120 hertz. So that's not likely to be a new feature. The only possible uh, good feature that the S20 had was also that you can go into this high resolution mode, you, le you lose the 120 hertz, but you still have like uh, the sharpness of the display. Granted, eventually not everyone needs this. But this is another kind of yeah point. Then you can say, okay, the S20 was like $200 roughly more expensive than now the S21. Yeah, but what did they do? The display downgrade is not everything. The micro SD card is missing. Even my Huawei's, they don't have micro SD card, but I have the possibility to upgrade the internal memory with a nano memory card. So I have the possibility to just simply upgrade the memory. So I'm not like uh, bound to the memory that the device ships with. My Sony Xperia 5 Mark II also has micro SD card upgradability, so I have the possibility to upgrade the memory and record such long vlogs here, for example, like I do right now. And yeah, that's not everything. <laughs> then they, in order, first of all, they make fun of Apple ditching the uh, charger and ditching the headphones, and then they do it themselves. I don't get it. What kind of marketing has Samsung that first uh, says, yeah, we love and in a few months we are doing the same thing. Um, I don't get it. I really don't get it. So they leave out the charger for an 800 euros or dollars phone and the headset. Granted, they are of course like some kind of, they try to make it like some kind of discount or uh, some kind of extra. If you buy it early, you can get like the Samsung Buds Live for free or the if you buy the Ultra model, you get like the Samsung Buds Pro or something like this. But uh, wait a second, if you buy it later, the phone gets cheaper. <laughs> so you can get the Buds also probably a bit cheaper. So I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. So in general, for the technology that is halfly improved i would say in the s21 granted there's a new processor in there maybe the the the, the ultra version has the newer better camera system but the s21 s21 plus really no they changed maybe they tweaked a little bit on the software side of things but that's it it doesn't really have a better software android 11 eventually but the older devices get it as well so there's absolutely no reason to buy the S20 if you don't want to get screwed. And I'm wondering what's what's happening with Samsung. What what is their idea? What's their plan? They're screwing over their own smartphone business basically uh, by producing such low um, quality products as well and uh, ditching features. And um, I don't get it. And it's very interesting to see that Samsung is like releasing still free phones free phones for the S20 lineup. They are adding the S Pen to the Ultra version and then the Note version, which is like the top of the line S Pen and Notepad, Note Editing um, smartphone, they ditch it. 
there are reports now that they want to get rid of the Note line, which I don't get. I really don't get. What Samsung should have done is like have the S21, the S21 Plus as the biggest model, and then have the Note 21 as the one with the S Pen and don't do such things as the S21 Ultra or something like this. I also don't like it that Huawei does this, the same thing. Instead of having like uh, two flagship devices, one is like the more like the lower end flagship and the highest, highest end flagship, they also create some something in the middle. So like they have the Mate 40, they have the Mate 40 Pro and they have the Mate 40 Pro Plus model, which is even high end than the high end thing. Um, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't like it. I really don't like it because it makes the whole thing, first of all, more expensive. So the only reason they added this Ultra or Plus version, uh, Ultra version, Samsung added the Ultra version, is to make the device more expensive. Of course, they put more technology in there. But before, the Plus model was the Ultra model, basically, where they put everything in there that they had. The best of the best of the technology they had at this date and yeah, at this point in time. And now it's not anymore. And the prices are a lot higher than they were before. And uh, this is, of course, a clever marketing, not marketing, it's a clever way to earn money, to earn more money. But it's a bit of screwing up the customers as well, because the customers don't get the top of the line uh, with the Plus model anymore. Um, I could live it if, let's for example, say the S21 Plus has the same camera as mine as this uh, 10 times uh, telezoom camera, just like Huawei does it. So I think Huawei is also doing it the wrong way, I would say, but a bit better than Samsung. So at least you get the same camera modules, you get the same software, you get the same, uh, almost the same things. But also with the Mate 40, Huawei is like screwing it up a bit with the uh, viewing angles. but. That's probably for another topic. So, in general, I would say Samsung is screwing its S and Note line up completely. And the customers are the ones who suffer from this decision that Samsung, first of all, is lowering the price a little bit. Yeah, that's granted, but it's still high for 800 uh, euros or dollars. And you can see how much the competition is offering for this same price point glass back wireless charging fast charging as well so samsung is going back from fast charging they had i think 40 watts or something like this 25 watts definitely instead of going to th 33 watts or something like this in charging they're going back to like 2022 which is like also a step back and yeah uh, there's absolutely less and less reason to buy a Samsung smartphone, especially the S21 lineup, because of the deficits of the hardware itself and, of course, the yeah, screw-up in terms of quality that you get. Or what you get, basically, in the box is just the smartphone and a charging cable, not even a charger. And paying $800 Euros is way too much for this. And yeah, that's basically everything. If you have some opinions about the Samsung uh, Galaxy phones, the S20 lineup, especially uh, the way Samsung is now going with the phones, you can write it down in the comment section. And uh, of course, you can also start a discussion with me if you think that's the right way to do. It's like economically and uh, it is uh, for a better, greener future, uh, something like this. I heard some of the arguments, but they are not valid in my opinion. But you can start a discussion with me in the comment section. Just write down your comments. What do you think about Samsung? So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.